Public Utilities Regulatory Authority, also known as PURA, regulates Connecticut's electric, gas, and water utilities. PURA also licenses and regulates electric suppliers. We encourage you to view the entire presentation, share what you learned, and contact PURA for more information. Your electric bill is divided into two parts, supply and delivery. Together, these charges make up your total electric bill. Each of the line items on your bill will be explained during the presentation. Your electric bill also provides your meter read date and the information used to calculate your monthly use. The supply charge recovers the cost to produce electricity at power plants. The generation of electricity is deregulated, and as a result, Pura does not regulate this charge. Instead, the rate is based on the market price of electricity. UI is required to offer its customers a supply option called standard service. Standard service is purchased through a competitive bid process that is overseen by Pura and the Office of Consumer Counsel. The standard service rate changes on January and July 1st and is fixed for six months. It is important to note that UI does not earn a profit by providing standard service. It charges no more than the cost to buy the electricity for its standard service customers. Customers can choose a licensed supplier for their generation supply which may lower the cost. The UI residential bill displays details about your generation supply, also called the supply summary. If you are taking service from a supplier, the summary will provide information about your contract, such as the current rate, the rate we will be charged for your next usage period, the term, when the contract ends, and the cancellation fee if one applies. The summary also displays information about the current standard service rate. In addition, the summary compares what you paid the supplier to what you would have paid if you were taking standard service supply. If you are taking UI standard service, the summary will only display standard service information. All customers are encouraged to review the supply summary on a regular basis. The delivery portion of the bill includes six charges. Four of the charges recover UI costs. The other two support energy-related public policy programs required by the General Assembly. The transmission charge recovers UI's investment in transmission equipment and the cost to maintain the system. PIRA does not regulate this cost. Instead, the Federal Energy Regulatory Commission, also known as FERC, regulates this cost. After its review, FERC sets the amount of money UI must collect from ratepayers, and Pura then sets the rate each customer pays to recover the FERC allowed revenue. The customer service charge collects a portion of UI's cost to provide service and maintain the local distribution system. This charge is regulated by Pura and recovers customer related costs such as meters, billing, the service line that connects each customer to the grid, and call center staffing. This delivery charge recovers distribution related costs that are not recovered through the customer service charge. These include system related investments and expenses, costs that are shared by all customers. They include poles and wires, transformers, trucks, other equipment, and payroll. The decoupling adjustment is a true up of UI's distribution revenue. UI is allowed to collect a certain amount to own, operate, and maintain its distribution system. This amount is set by Pura. The decoupling adjustment allows UI to true up any under or over recovery of the allowed amount. After review, Pura sets the rate customers will pay if there is an under-recovery or the amount of the credit each customer will receive if there is an over-recovery. 
The FMCC delivery charge supports energy-related public policy costs authorized by the General Assembly. UI does not control these costs, and PURE does not regulate them. This charge supports generation-related programs such as the Millstone Purchase Power Contract, incentives paid for energy-efficient generation, and various renewable energy programs. The second public benefits charge recovers additional energy-related public policy costs approved by the General Assembly. Again, UI does not control these costs, and PURA does not regulate them. This charge recovers the cost to support Connecticut's Conservation and Load Management Fund, Renewable Energy Fund, Operation Fuel, Low Income Loan Programs, and programs designed to aid customers who face challenges paying their electric bill. To summarize, the electric bill is divided into two basic parts, supply and delivery. Supply is a market-based rate and is not regulated by Pura. Your delivery charges can actually be broken into three separate groups. Transmission, which is regulated by FERC, UI distribution costs that are regulated or reviewed by Pura, and energy-related public policy costs that are not regulated by Pura, but are recovered through your electric bill. Contact Pura at 800-382-4586 or at pura.ct.gov for more information. And thank you for participating in the presentation today.